my dissatisfaction in this area is that this uh, very large cut is uh, very noticeable even from the front and I also have a another wound here which we try to put wood glue but to no avail so I guess the solution here is to is to create the branch somewhere they said to to hide both this and this so I plan to create a branch here so I just I just grew this uh, but it's it's not yet I don't think it's enough so and it's the taper is not also very good so anyway I have grown this and maybe if, if uh, something grows nearer to this branch to where it is emanating then I can cut it and this becomes a uh, or this would improve taper but for now I would like to make a graph a branch here so it will somehow hide this and this and there's another problem this one is creating a reverse taper but anyway this girth is very much smaller to where it is emanating here so I can I think I can I'll grow a branch from here Look how my stable and let me sit down The next thing to do for this is to wire these branches and since they will be disoriented after the wiring okay, we will have to defoliate them so these wires these are already very old in their positions so it, the twigs have elongated themselves already so I, got, so I need to wire them lower this one so they will spread out like that and many of them even here we need to wire so can, they, can, they can have an opportunity to build new pods okay so uh, we will be wiring them now I will, I will wire this uh, without the video because that will take so much time I will just work on this slowly and probably this will take me about 8 hours but I will not do this in one setting I have other things to do then all in all maybe I will be able to wire this uh, in 2 days then defoliate it or probably I will defoliate uh, before continuing wiring so this branch I think I will uh, wire this in, in trick in detail even the small twigs I will wire right there but this one I will move like that then maybe this one I'm gonna pull a little bit pull like that okay. and this will be move up a little bit so that's the work for this defoliate then I'm taking this opportunity to teach to teach, to teach how to wire so in this case we have arrived in the junction this is the first first wire no this this wire is paired from this branch and this branch so my question now i have arrived arrived at the junction where is my wire going is it going this way or that way notice the 
rotation. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap first then. Should I wrap here or here? Okay. The objective is that it should not overlap. Okay, so the second wire which is the this wire which is following the first wire this wire which I am holding now this one should not overlap or overlay each other see if this is the second if this is the second wire okay so do you now get where which branch left or right um, I am going to wire that way so the answer is this branch okay, so I'll wire this branch okay instead of here although this is a thicker one and I'm I'm presently wiring the large branches then I'll wire later okay the twigs okay so uh, okay that's the the root of the first wire the second wire which is to wire this okay notice that it will not overlay so here it's still at the back of the first wire then it is okay it is then wired to the other brands okay like that so the result is there is no overlapping or crossing of this is a uh, one technique that many no, many bonsais are committing wrong so that one what you need to remember is the direction of your rotation so you sh you should in you should favor the branch wherein th there is the so here here again is in a, another concept right? another cross so instead of going like that which is the thicker branch instead of going like that you favor the this side so if you're going to wire another if you're going to run another wire then when you reach here you can go to the other side so that's it Cut. now I have finished wiring and I have also finished defoliating and, and here is the threaded twig so now this looks funny because it is it has a peggy back. This is the root uh, root system of the twig that is threaded through that through this branch, and of which the purpose is to uh, be able to hide this hide this mark cut mark. And also an old cut mark which I have uh, somehow repaired by creating uh, before I creating a a here's a here's the cut I I grow a sacrifice branch here supposedly to to help uh, heal this portion this cut from the front here. But the, the sacrifice branch grew too large already, so I have to cut it off. Cut it off, and here's another mark, and it has even created a, a reverse taper. Uh, after this one will have uh, attached itself, I will inject again, thread again, and you graph to continue healing this this portion. 
Because if this, this portion will be healed, then this will be ready for bonsaisho. And this one have to be worked by carving and manually only. So this one, hopefully this, this, uh, this uh, branch which is threaded will, hope will also heal, facilitate healing. So this one uh, will just be hidden or otherwise I will grow another another thread. I will thread another branch here to thicken this also a bit and at the same time possibly help heal this uh, cut there. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you a focus in, the, in that area. So that is the problematic part. Okay. This cut mark here and this here. And later on, I will also work on this another thread graph. But I cannot actually, or I do not want to grow too many sacrifice brands because these sacrifice branches are very vigorous and might might sap the energy from this bonsai so we'll just do it uh, gradually anyway bonsai are never finished and that's it we'll just do it gradually